That's one. Two. At the back. Being on the water, it's really smooth and but like it's very high energy and fast, but it's still such a calming feeling. I'm Derek McGee. I'm a junior at Nutria High School, and I'm a coxswain. What I want, D, is you even with Quinn. Not many people know much about rowing, uh, but uh, the best way I could kind of compare it is to swimmers' workouts: long distance, endurance, intensity. I'm Nathaniel Kelplanane. I'm the head boys coach at Nutria High School Rowing here at Damock Rowing Center in Skokie, Illinois. Bow. Two, three. It's actually a bigger team sport than all the other sports I've played because you know everything you do affects the boat. The majority of practice is going to be an eight-man shell with a coxswain who is in the stern of the boat. As a coxswain, I'm in charge of all things on and off the water, getting things to move along, getting practice started, getting guys in their lineups and boats ready to go. Your coxswain is pretty much the brains of the operation. Oh, there's a lot of commands that we use to uh, get guys' attention. Ready. Arms only. At school, you just try to be friends, you know, just like normal. And then uh, at, I, at practice, it's I'm a coxswain. I'm not their friend. I have to do my job, and they know that. It's not really a big deal because, um, I mean, they order you to do stuff, but you also affect the boat. So you, you do have some freedom, but we like the coxswain. It's a good one. My name is Tom Murphy. This is my first season. I'm a stroke seat, which is the first person in the boat, and then everybody follows my stroke. We're all in sync from me. You have to have good timing, and you have to have good technique and rhythm. I'm a big fan of making sure we're rolling with the best technique possible. Starboard side, the hands can be still lower. I see them a good six inches off the gunnel. They could be three inches off the gunnel. First thing that's going to happen, actually, is your hands come in front of your body, and then your body, your shoulders, come over your waist. When you get up to the slide at the top, it's what we like to call the catch. This is where you start to really apply your pressure and your work. In high and then low on the recovery. A lot of people don't know that rowing, when they do the quintessential, oh, you're, you're rowing, well, actually, the majority, I would say about 75 to 80 percent of your power is out of your legs. This is very good rowing right now. Uh, last weekend, we were, uh, had the uh, had the opportunity to take our top boat out to head of the Charles in Boston, Massachusetts. It's an international regatta. The best way to put it, actually, it's the Super Bowl of rowing. And we were actually able to place second out of a field of 79 boats from across the country as well as uh, international. But unfortunately, uh, Eaton College, uh, prep college out of England, was able to best us this weekend. We were pretty excited and proud of those guys. They had a great race. Um, conditions just like this, actually, it snowed that day. In the rain, you know, you can't really complain because whatever I'm feeling, the guys are feeling 10 times worse. We just want to give it our all and try to go as fast as we can through the finish and not stop until we're completely done. And uh, that's what we're all about. It's a large mental toughness to it that you can get to that, that wall and not back off. Being on the crew team brings a lot of responsibility. In general, I, I feel like I've just become like a stronger person.